Gotta love those North Carolina sunsets. That, my friends, is what you see of where I am trying to get internet, okay? Uh, LTE. Um, so, if you guys don't know, hey, look at that, a full moon. That's pretty dope. Uh, setup is still the same. I emailed simple Wi-Fi slash um, signal something, something. They, they have another name. But anyway, um, just a little questionnaire about my uh, configuration. I, um, the signal quality was, was diving up a little bit on me. It was going, you know, in the negative sevens, jumping up to the negative elevens. And a lot of that has to do with, if you can kind of see it, the lower, uh, parabolic grid has no outside grid on it. Um, mainly for, because of lack of space on the pole, um, as you can see. Um, I don't know if you can see from this angle, right just below that there is a log periodic um, long antenna that is going for my booster, okay? It is not going for my MIMO setup, all right? My MIMO with my two parabolic grids um, is going to the MOFI. And then this log, which is, holy crap, right there by itself, that one is going to a Wilson Pro Plus 70 booster okay i just want to see if it made it better i'm actually getting three bars pretty dang good um staying consistent with the booster so you know instead of your standard like you know 10 or 5 dbi uh little yagis that come with these pieces of shit you might want to try putting a log periodic on there i'm not too concerned about it the log periodics are good but listen guys when they when it rains the the water like i said before in my other videos is going to coat them okay when it coats them you're you're degrading a lot um so i've had a lot of wind and a lot of rain with the two parabolics up there guys and i'm telling you um it's done pretty darn good um like i said the signal quality has dipped a little bit but I, like i said i think it's because that uh other parabolic grid without the grid on the back is um kind of lower <laughs> i angled it up a little bit more today um of course i couldn't stay off the roof because it's the weekend right that's how i party on my weekends so you know all in all the parabolic grids i will say this again and validate it they are amazing um emilio from simple wi-fi uh he emailed me told me basically hey you know you want to put the other uh grid on there he goes that might help he said in a real world if you want to fix your problem cut down the trees he said obviously we're not going to do that or get the thing up higher because my house is pretty high as you can see it's three stories but cell towers go about as tall as these trees okay maybe a little taller so yes yeah, so if i were to clear these trees with another 20 <laughs> feet of pole yeah i could have a nice ugly ass pole hanging out the top of my house i'm not going to do that i have functional internet it's kicking ass guys hey beggars can't be choosers like i said you know you got to go with the flow you know what i'm saying you got you got to use what you got um so yeah there it is from a side shot um once again looks like i'm trying to hone in the aliens but uh really no just trying to game and stream and uh, i just want to let you all know one last time that uh the setup is good guys if you want rural internet and you're like me um you don't have to use your 1.5 or 1 megabit of dsl that you might have or go to viasat or HughesNet. i am telling you right now get a mofi or a sim uh router okay get yourself a sim router they have cheap knockoffs for 150 bucks on ebay or get a mofi i don't care activate your sim through your provider if you have a grandfathered sim even better take it out of your device put it in the mofi presto internet light comes on you now have internet with the mofi the mofi comes with two paddle antennas it comes with four antennas it looks just like a regular router the paddle antennas are wider uh, than the typical bunny ear antennas just because they pick up the lte now if the paddle antennas don't work for you they might work for you if you're a couple miles from the tower that might be all you need put it by a window set it forget it and rock and roll okay um if that doesn't work that's when you have to go with big boys okay that's what i have uh I, I pretty much have all the money i could possibly invest into this unless i got a different uh router okay but the mofi seems to be doing the trick uh, it survived a year of extreme temperatures 
I am pretty satisfied. Um, it's just perfect. I have about 15 foot of low loss cable running down the trim and it runs right into a hole that's pre-drilled into an attic, which is sealed by some kind of rubber sealant, keeping the damn wasps out. Okay, you should see this thing in the summer, man. Like I'm getting swarmed by mosquitoes and wasps. It's like, oh shit, I need to put on my bio suit. Here I go. It's, it's, it's crazy in the summer up there, okay? But uh, luckily for me, um, I don't think I'm gonna be getting up there too much more. I have it bolted down tight. I'm not moving the shit no more. Um, like I said, guys, uh, most of y'all are gonna orientate your antennas this way um, with the feed horn facing this way. Uh, me, I have the thing mounted slightly at 45 degrees going about, you know, a couple inches up. So depending on where you put that little U-bolt that puts the bracket on the, on the pole there, okay, you can adjust it in the holes up or down to get it to basically angle your antenna up, okay? That's how you do that, okay? I think I was trying to explain that in the last video, but the wind was getting the best of me. So, shit, man. I don't know what else to say. Um, like I said, it's it's a Verizon grandfathered plan. Uh, they haven't been throttling me. Um, I thought that might have been the case when I emailed Emilio from uh, Simple Wi-Fi. He basically told me, hey, he's like, you know, if, if you're a priority, that's great. Uh, but we came to the conclusion it could be high traffic because like at six, five in the morning or six or five in the morning, I'm getting about six, negative six on the signal quality. Okay. Signal strength is consistent. Negative 105 to like negative 102. It'll fluctuate. The worst I've seen it is get to negative 108, which dude, that's still phenomenal. Okay. So consistently about negative 104, negative 105. Okay. Decibels. And I'm getting a consistent negative seven, seven. A negative 7.7 .7 to a negative 8.2 ish okay that's where i'm at with wind tree swaying you're gonna expect a little loss okay but it still functions um you might have a slower ping um you know you might have to just refresh your page things like that it is not gone guys if your signal is below negative 120 you should and it's stable you should be good the lower the decibels closer to negative 100 or less negative 90s negative 80s the better you're going to be from any kind of loss from the element, okay? I just want you guys to keep that in mind. So if some of y'all, I've been talking to you, if you're sitting at around negative 118, well, like they say it down in the south, bless your heart, okay? You might want to get that sucker higher, okay? Get it higher. That's the only thing I could say. Or go with a higher power antenna. These antennas, I know some of you have been asking me, do you ground them? Um, no. The booster is grounded, uh, Probably because it has straight power. It's an amplifier. These really aren't straight power. They are uh, receiving waves, like kind of like uh, TV antennas. Do you ground your damn TV antennas? No. So what it does is, is it goes right into the MoFi, okay? Now, the only thing I could say you could you should be concerned with is, is bleh, lightning, all right? Lightning. They have lightning arresters. You might need two of them, one for each wire that comes out of each one of your feed horns. Unless you're only doing one, you only need one. They're about 38, 40 bucks. Some, I've seen cheap ones for like 15, 10. Um, it's like a gas tube. You just screws onto your end female uh, and end male. You, it goes in between it. It's just like a sandwich and lightning hits it. Goes through the arrestor, thus keeping your shit from getting fried. So, have I done that? No. <laughs> the, um, I'm a little bit scientific. I learned that, you know, the lightning strikes sporadic. The whole fact that it does it is it more prone to striking metal um, or trees or things like that. That is a myth. Okay, believe it or not, that's a myth. It is just like a once and once out of every I don't know hundred thousand it could hit it. Okay, so just keep that in mind. No, my luck. Probably in a couple weeks I'll be coming back out here, guys. I should have bought the damn lightning arresters, son of a bitch. But anyway, that's besides the point. I'll take my chances. Um, I'll be renting this house out. What's the date today? It is, holy crap. So anyway, I said that and then my watch was doing something funny. So today's date is the 7th of, what is it, March already? We set our clocks forward tomorrow, 2020. All right, so April, May, June, July. July 1st, I start my leave on my next journey to good old Texas, all right? So what I say is, uh, guys, Whoever rents this house out should be pretty happy. 
okay? I will leave the grandfather plan in the MoFi. I will probably tack on an additional 50 bucks on the rent, and that's how I pay for that. I think I should at least, maybe I should be like those guys on eBay and charge them a hundred. Huh? What do you think? No, that's wrong. That's criminal. But, um, yeah. So here we are in the boonie life. Um, living the dream. The upload speeds are close to seven tonight. It's pretty awesome. I'm pretty excited. I just want to let you guys know once again, thank you for all your support. I've hoped that these videos have been helpful to you. Um, MoFi, antennas, SIM card cables, internet. All right. You guys have a great weekend and I'll see you later. It's not just all bunny ears. It's two bunny ears for the for your Wi-Fi, two for this. Just remember, guys, you can get your own router. You can like literally tether it, run an Ethernet to your own home router. It'll give you better reception. This thing doesn't blast Wi-Fi as good for square uh, cubic square feet as like you know a gaming router would. Just keep that in mind. I love you. Peace.